Hey guys, this is Tim with THB Fishing for Recovery. I've been praying today that, uh, you know, about making this video. And uh, so uh, here we go. I'm going to try to, I'm going to tell a story tonight that uh, I was locked up 16 months in the Madison County Jail for second degree manufacturing. I had a million dollar bond. But, uh, I want to tell you about my daughter. She she stayed, she hung in there with me. She came and saw me every Friday. She sent me books and took just took good care of me while I was in there. And she never gave up on me. But every, every month she would send me, I could have three books and she would send me three books from Amazon. And she would say, two of them you'll know or I know what you like to read, and most of the time it'd be about Alabama football. And then she would send a book that she wanted me to read that uh, it was mostly self-help books and stuff like that. But the first time that she sent me the books, I got two Alabama football books. Then I get this one book that's called The Father That Keeps His Promise. And, you know, I did know what, you know, because, you know, being in active addiction, I, I never kept no promises. I just told you what you wanted to hear and went and, you know, done what I wanted to do. But, uh, you know, God has never broke a promise to us. You know, I've read that. I've read it probably a, that book a hundred times. I still have it today. And, and, you know, God's never broke a promise. We're always the ones breaking the promise. And uh, while I was in jail the 16 months, I seen people come and go, and, and they would get jailhouse religion. Well, uh, I probably had, I think I had 14 Bibles. That one. I slept on, I made a mattress out of Bibles. And uh, I had 14 Bibles. As soon as everybody would come, they'd come to jail, you know, I was in there. I was, a, you know, I was there. I wasn't leaving. So when people would come in, they'd get them a Bible and they'd, you know, God get me out of here. We call it jailhouse religion. And they wouldn't even carry the Bible with them when they left. You know, they forgot God when they got out. But uh, so I had every kind of Bible you can imagine. And uh, I, I probably read the Bible in that 16 months, probably two or three times. And uh, and I read it in prison. But, uh, you know, I, I found this uh, Jeremiah 29, 11 through 15. And, and my favorite Bible was Free on the Inside, which was actually an NIV prison Bible. But right now I'm going to read you uh, Jeremiah 11 through 15. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. When, when you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations. Okay. You know, God, he wanted us to, he wants us to enjoy this life on earth. He, he didn't put me in jail. I put myself in there. But I thank God for leaving me in there so I could get to better know him. And, uh, you know, I, I work the NA program. It, I'm not religious. I'm, uh, I work a spiritual program. I have a relationship with God like uh, my first love that I had, you know, in my life. And that's, I think that's what God really wants is that relationship. That's why he give us free will. And, uh, you know, I was mad at God for free will because he wouldn't let me, he wouldn't make help, he wouldn't stop me from hitting that pipe. That had to be my decision. And uh, while I was in there, you know, I, I, I came closer to God 
And I know God got me out. But, uh, you know, we seem to forget about God. You know, we go on our own lives and we forget about how and what he does for us. And I'm so grateful every day just that he wakes me up and gives me another day to try to get this right. And uh, I just want to say that uh, that uh, that book, A Father That Keeps His Promise, I've tried to keep all the promises I make now, and, and I'm going to. You know, as, when I was in my addiction, I was never on time. I laid out, of, you know, when I did work, I laid out of work. Now I don't do that. I, I'm going to show up early. I'm going to stay late. And I'm going to work as hard as I can. But I'm not going to, you know, I put God first because God is my recovery. And without a recovery, I don't have a life. And, and I thank God for every, everybody and everything in my life. I thank God for going to prison. And, you know, he knew exactly what it was going to take to clean me up. And, and I should be dead years ago. And I still don't know the reason that I'm here but uh, I'm going to work every day to try to, you know, be a better person and do the right thing. And uh, I'm always going to do the right thing, no matter what. If you're watching or not watching me, I'm going to do the right thing because I've made a habit of it and I'm not going to change. You know, that's a choice I make every day when I get up is to serve God. And, you know, it's not my will, it's God's will. And, and if we surrender to God, His will, our life is so much better. I'm living the best life I ever could. I wouldn't change my life with anybody on this earth. I am so happy with my life. And, and that's why I don't use anymore. That's why, you know, God delivered me. I have no desire to use drugs anymore. And, and you know, I, I constantly pray for people. And, and, you know, God, I'm a living, walking, talking miracle. And, you know, God is still doing miracles today. And, you know, people think that God just quit doing miracles 2,000 years ago. No, he ain't. He's still doing miracles every single day. He wants us to love him with all our hearts. And, and you know, I, I'm in love with God, and I'm going to keep loving God. Because God is a loving person. And, and God loves everyone the same. It's that unconditional love. So, you know, I love you. God loves you. And remember, God has no limits. Man has limits. And we put limits on God. So whatever you do, do not put limits on God because God can do anything. You guys have a good night and thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.